and welcome to another episode of Ubar. In today's episode, we are going to uh, do operations in DynamoDB indexes. We are going to create the indexes using CloudFormation and then we are retrieving and storing data in them. If you want to know more about serverless, cloud computing, or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started. <laughs> So this is the last episode on my DynamoDB series. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you have not watched the previous episode, I really recommend that you go and watch them. The first one, we talk about the basic concepts of Dynamo. In the second one, we talk about this app that we are building. We model the data and we did a lot of homework to get this done in the most efficient way. And in the third video, we created the application and we created the table. In this video, we are going to work on the indexes. We are going to create the indexes. We are going to retrieve data from the index, store data in the index and all the things. So let's go directly to the code and get started with it. So in the last video, we stopped in something that looks like this. This is our table. It's, read, it's writing there. And now we need to make it happen in the indexes. So our code, our template looks like this. We have four functions that are either writing on the table or reading for the table. And then we have one Dynamo table with a primary key called property ID and a sort key called sort key. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I recommend you to go to the first episode on this series because this is a continuum series on uh, modeling Dynamo. Uh, so I just continue from where I stopped. Now we are going to start creating the indexes and then reading from them. So the first access pattern I want to tackle is the search by location. So for that, I'm going to create the first index. So in your DynamoDB table, you need to create a new property called global secondary indexes. And here you will list all the indexes. We will have three indexes at the end of this video. So I will start with index one. These are the global secondary index, that's why GSI1. And then you need to find the key schema. This is our primary key, this is sort key of the index. And one important thing here is that you need to start defining these attributes in your Dynamo table. So before we have property ID and sort key, but now as country city appears as our primary key, in the global secondary index, I need to define it in here. Don't define anything extra because you will get an error. Just define exactly what you are going to use in the key of your indexes. The next thing we want to do is to have the projection. Here you have three options. We talk in the first introductory video, the all, the keys, and the include. I'm using include. I want just to include to project the um, attributes that I care about because in our table we have two types of entities and I'm not interested in the bookings here. I just want to have the properties. So I'm going to project the owner, the title, the description, the city and the country, as well as the country city because they are primary key and the project ID, uh, property ID because this is sort key. You also need to define a provision throughput for this index. This is an example I'm giving one on one. If you are using this in production, you need to do some analysis on how much capacity you are going to need. This is not part of that series, so we are not covering that. If you want to know more about designing uh, capacity for your Dynamo, let me know in the comments. So now we have our index and the thing is that whatever is in our table will not go to our index now. So we need to add new things in our table or then we need to drop the table and start again. We are going to create a new function called search by location. And again, we are going to create an API. We are going to give permissions to it. But then you can see in the environmental variables, we are going to pass the index name and the table name. We are going to need this for our operations. So now we go to the handler and we can see the function search by location that is here. And in the query string parameter, we will get the country and the city and we will build the primary key for our query to the index like that. And then we are going to create a new method in Dynamo Manager that is querying the index. 
because I will query the index with different primary keys. What I'm doing is I'm going to pass the value of the primary key and the name of the primary key that the index has. So then I can have uh, one function that queries the index for different indexes. So let's look at that function that is here, query index. You can see that is the primary key and the primary key name for that particular index. To build the parameters of a query index, it's, you need the table name and the index name. That's why we pass the index name in the environmental variable because we are using it here. And again, as in the query table, we are going to uh, match the primary key to the primary key uh, thing that we are getting here. And you can see this one is just we are building this string with the right name for the primary key so I can reutilize this method in my free indexes that have three different names for the primary key. And then we just run Dynamo Query with these parameters. We are going to get a lot of items back because we are querying the data and we are not getting an item. Remember querying queries on the primary key and th as there is a sort key you can have multiple items back. So then when we get those items here, we just need to clean them up to show the result. Uh, the property that is coming back might have the country city as one thing and you need to do a little bit of cleanup and we can see it in this property manager file that we are just returning nice things for our users. Now you need to deploy and you need to save a property so then the save can write on the table and write in the index and you can test it. I already done that and I have an example in uh, Postman that I want to show you on how this looks. So this is my query, I pass in the country, I pass in the city and I'm sending this, super simple and I'm getting back a property. If I will have multiple properties, I will get a list here. You can see that this is an array. So now we are working in the next access pattern that is to get all the book properties that a user has. And for that, we need to create a new global secondary index. I'm calling it free <laughs> just because I put this in different order, but well, you can call it two if you want. And the global secondary index has the primary key, the user ID and the sort key, the start booking day. Again, a user can have multiple properties that are he booked, and but he cannot have two bookings on the same day. And then we want to project the attributes that are the property ID and the end booking day. So we will use the projection type include. And again, you need a provision throughput. With now, with this, we will create a new function that is getting these uh, book properties for the user, same deal. We are creating a function, we are passing the, um, the crude policy, we are passing the index and the table as an environmental variable, so our Dynamo manager can use those values, and we are creating an endpoint for this. So we go to our handler, and we look for this, that is the get book properties for user that is getting in the query string parameter the user ID. And then it's using the query index function from the Dynamo Manager that we just created in the previous example. And here you can see it, we are using the user ID and the name of our primary key is user ID. So if you remember in the previous example, we have the primary key here that was this country city and we have the country city uh, as the name of the primary key of our index and now we have user id as the name of the primary key of our index then we can use the same method to search in different indexes that's important we don't want to write the same code over and over again and this what it does gets the items from the index it will get many items and then we will clean them up and we show them you need to deploy this, you need to add a new booking, and then you can test it out. I already have all done all that, and I can show you one example in Postman. So let's look at that. So this is how it looks, the URL, passing one query string parameter, I send it, and I get back all the bookings 
this is an array of bookings i only have one so i only have one to show you if i will have many i will have many to show this is good because later on we can modify this method for example to just show the bookings in the future so you could pass another value here like the booking date or today or we can do that in the back end to only show the bookings that are from today to the future and not show the ones in the past or we can have used this method in two different ways to show the past ones and the future ones so by uh, having this sort key we can only look for the bookings in the future using the, the sort query range operations as well from bigger or smaller than this date. And now we arrive to the last of the examples that is the get uh, all the properties for an owner and I will call it this one the global secondary index 2. Again I made a mess <laughs> when I was doing this but well bear with me. You need to define the, the primary key that is the owner ID, the sort key of that index that is the property ID, and then the attributes that you are going to project. Remember, don't forget to define those attributes in your main table attributes definition. If you don't do that, you will get an error. If you define all the attributes in the attribute definition, you will also get an error. So you only need to define the attributes that you are going to use in your keys of your indexes don't forget and this is the same same deal <laughs> as what we were doing so let's look at the function it's called get all properties for owner it has a handler it has a policy we are passing the table and the index names as environmental variables and we have create an endpoint so we can go to handler and we can look for it and here it is get properties for owner we pass in the query string parameter the owner id and this will query the index for all the properties uh, that are from this owner and we will get back a list of properties that we clean up and we show again in order to test this deploy this then add a new property and then you will see that you can call this endpoint and get something back. I have done all that, so now I can go to Postman and show you my example. So here is my URL, my uh, query string parameter, and you can see here is my property. So everything works. This was the video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a big thumbs up. This was the last episode on this DynamoDB series. You can find the code in the description box. I always have code available for you to try, play, experiment, copy paste, and do whatever you want. Just go ahead and get it for yourself. And I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you want to know more about Dynamo. If you do, let me know in the comments what you would like to know about Dynamo, what I can do next with Dynamo and how I can help you to learn more about it. Also you can let me know what other series you want to know, I'm happy to explore new topics and get my hands on new interesting things that I have not covered already. And that's it for today, around here there are other videos from my channel for you to watch, go ahead, click and I see you next week with a new series on FUBAR. Bye bye!